BBC Newcastle, radio for the North East. I'm Jonathan Miles, as the chairman of the board. Um, Angels of the North is, well, our loose women, if you've never met us before. And um, we've got three this morning North East ladies in. Katie. Uh, Katie works for St Cuthbert's, is that right? Yes, that's right. And she tries to get money out of people to help keep the hospice running because hospices cost a fortune. How much, What's your running cost a year you need? Our costs are just around £2 million a year. Oish, we need. okay. And we have to raise £1.2 million of that through exactly. fundraising. So for our hospices in the region, give generously. Uh, three minutes to twelve. Look, North Paul Money is here. But girls, let me just ask you one thing. It's the time of year for buying calendars. There's a few out there in the calendar girls' vein. We had a group of North East Army wags in the other week who had stripped off for a calendar to raise cash for... Well, actually, no, they hadn't stripped off. They'd put, actually, uniforms on and stuff. Um, yesterday's mirror ran pictures from a calendar of... Uh, of bare naked Labour councillors, ooh, <laughs> using various props to protect their modesty, including a vote Labour poster. What charity or campaign would you strip off for, Katie? Well, I just so happen to have a calendar here for in aid of St Cuthbert's Hospice. It's well, it's, you can't say your own charity. <laughs> It's, um, we're, we're doing a Mount Kilimanjaro trek next year and Graeme Duncan, who's one of the um, gentlemen who's walking um, the trek for us, he's produced a calendar to raise sponsorship money that obviously they have to raise a certain amount to do the trek. And he's um, roped in his friends and colleagues um, to do a calendar oh, he has to been. help raise money. Uh, and very gla- oh, very glamorous Mooney. ladies. <laughs> Margot, Paul's looking at naked ladies. <clears throat> okay, so but who would you strip off for? Well, I'd have to, I'd have to say Saint Cuthbert. Okay, I? Rosie. <laughs> oh, I don't know that you'd want to see the key fun little stripped off. I think it would definitely have to be somewhere warm. It's definitely not going to be uh, who would you strip out in off the open. For? Who would you strip off for? Oh, I uh, really could, couldn't think. Um, you'll have to come back to me. I can't okay, think. Stephanie. <laughs> um, easy, uh, Cancer Research UK. Okay. In fact, I, I already have stripped off in that I've uh, published pictures of what your breasts look like after you've had surgery. Okay, thank you. Stephanie, thank you. Rosie, Katie, thank you. Please come in again. Thank, thank you. you. BBC Newcastle.